All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, who the Word inwardly calls God, Yahweh Shai, the only begotten Son, who the Word inwardly calls Jesus Christ. All right, the water Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for the Rakak with Dash, which is the Holy Spirit, to do another lesson. All right, double honor goes out to the apostles and elders of GMS, who rule well, we learn this truth from. All right, peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the Akiyama around, this, uh, around the world. Preaching and teaching this word and truth and sincerity. All right. Shalom on to the one third remnant that consists of men, women, and children, too. You know, it's the all your call from the Men of Valley, South Carolina camp. Coming back with another lesson. All right. And um, this lesson is just going to be uh, about how basically, man, uh, how how the Lord, all right, how about Shimmy outside, told us that uh, you, you Israelites are not going to listen to the word, man. All right. Two thirds of our people are not going to hearken to this word, all right? And you Israelites, that's you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right? And and the confusion of faith. Those who look like may look like another nation, but line goes back to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? So uh, let's just read a little bit of what the Lord told Ezekiel, man, because the same applies today, man, all right? Brothers, see it when you go out on the line, all right? In your daily walk, okay? So let's get into it. All right, Ezekiel 3 and 1. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So the Lord telling Ezekiel, hey, eat this roll. Eat this Bible, man. Learn these scriptures. Take this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and go speak unto the house of Israel, man. Okay? The Israelites. All right, the Lord's chosen people. Verse 2, so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, son of man, cause thy belly to eat. And fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as sweet as mouth as salaki, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. All right, so hey, yeah, because when you first come into this thing, all right, it's sweet to you, man. All right, knowing that you are the chosen people. All right, knowing why you catching this hell. All right, knowing that you're gonna have uh, uh, future slaves. All right, concubines. All right. Hey, it's sweet when you first uh, eat this, man. All right. Verse four. And he said unto me, son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. All right. So that's what we're doing, man. We go out and we speak Yahweh about Shimei Asha's word to, to you people, man. All right. That's that's what we go and do. All right. It says. Uh, um, read that again. Verse four. And he said unto me, son of man. Get thee into the house of Israel and speak my words unto them. All right? So, hey, that's what we do. We go out on the highways. We speak the Lord's words to you Israelites, man. These words that we say are coming from uh, Yahweh by Shemiah All right? Verse 5. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of an hard language, but to the house of Israel. All right? The Lord telling Ezekiel, hey, he ain't sending them to other nations who we can't understand. But to the house of Israel, all right? That's when we go out and preach. That's who our message is for, man. Of course, we're going to condemn heathens, tell them their future judgment, okay? But hey, our, our man goes to bid uh, uh, the elect of Israel to the marriage, man, all right? Verse 6, not to many people of a strange speech and a hard language whose words thou cannot understand. Surely had I sent thee to them, they would have hearkened unto thee. So if the Lord would have sent us to uh, uh, the gooks, so-called Chinese, all right, the so-called Africans, and told them that they are chosen people, all right, told them that they need to repent and come back to the laws and the statutes commandment, and the Lord said they would have hearkened to them, all right, especially the so-called white man, all right, the Esau, Edom, all right, they already think that they are the Lord's chosen people, all right. So, hey, if the Lord said if he would have sent us to a strange nation, they would have hearkened to us, man, all right. But what? Verse 7. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. All right? So, hey, there, there it goes right there, man. The how about some of outside telling us, man? So so when these uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't get it and buck up at it, hey, just remember that the Lord told us that they're impudent and hard-hearted, man. All right? Let's look up impudent and hard-hearted. All right? Hey, the Lord said they not going to hearken, man. Israel not going to hearken. Impute it. All right? Uh, it's uh, H2389. All right? Goes back to Kazakh. 
strong, stout, mighty. All right, strong, serve, sharp, hot. All right, they're strong, man. Their head is hard, man. All right, they got a hard head, man. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. All right, hard hearted. Go back to H7186. Hard, cruel, severe, obstinate, hard, difficult. All right. Fierce, intense, stubborn, stiff neck. All right. Rigorous. All right, of battle. All right, so they difficult, man. They cruel. All right. These Israelites who we go out to, uh, uh, and speak to, all right, they, they got a strong head, man. All right, a hard head. And, they, and they're cruel, man. They don't want to hear the words of your by Shimei Al Shai. All right. They only want to hear what the pastors at the church tell them. All right. Verse 8. Behold, I have made I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Verse 9. As an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Okay. All right. So, hey, the Lord telling us don't be uh, uh, scared of these jakes, man. Don't be scared to go out and preach the truth, whether they hear or forbear, man. We got to do this work. We got to do what Yahweh by Shemia Shah commanded us to do. All right, we got to bid the uh, uh, only the elect is gonna get it, man. All right. Um, keep going. Moreover, he said to me, Son of man, all my words that I speak unto thee, receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears, and go get, and go get thee to them. Of the captivity unto the children of thy people, and speak unto them, and tell them, Thus said Yahweh power, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. All right, and that's what we do, man. We tell you, Thus say the Lord, Thus say the Bible, whether you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans hear or forbear, man. Okay, but we know uh, uh, what you uh, Jake's want, man. Y'all, y'all don't want to hear these things that we got to say, man. All right, okay. Y'all want to hear what uh, uh, T.D. Jake say in the local pa Christian Baptist pastor, man. All right? Got to say, tell you how everything is all good. You're going to get a blessing. All right? Next five years, uh, uh, you can start that business you want. No. All right? The prophets of the uh, uh, Lord, the real prophets of the Lord, telling you that death and destruction is coming to this world, man. That the day of the Lord is dark and not light, man. All right? Isaiah 30 and 10. Um... I started nine. Isaiah thirty and nine. Uh, yeah, Isaiah thirty and nine is talking about the Israelite that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. All right, it's talking about you Israelites, man. You don't want to hear the law of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, rebellious man and lying children. Verse 